Hey guys, and welcome to another uh, Game Maker tutorial. Uh, this one in specific is actually going to be going over how to animate the NPC when he follows the player. Um, and this is uh, from a request from one of the viewers. Uh, so let me go and show you what what it is once it's done. slow to speed down a little bit there you go and you can see him animate his little feet like he's moving around and I can actually probably shorten the, the distance down here in a moment I'll show you how to do that here shortly but yeah that is what uh what you'll get basically after we're done with this uh, I am using the previous tutorial build so all you really need to do is go into your enemy, whichever, uh, or I guess NPC, sorry, not enemy, uh, whatever NPC sprite you're using, go ahead and create your animation. I've already have mine set up. Um, one key thing is be sure to set it on center. If you don't set it on center, here, I'll go and reset this real quick. I'll show you what happens if, uh, if the sprite isn't centered to the origin. Notice whenever he turns, he's starting to go into walls. And that's because it's off. It's not centered, like, right above his head where, where it should be. It's centered off, you know, over here somewhere. So, close that down. You want to center that. Hit OK. And uh, this is actually going to be really easy. Uh, go ahead and create a draw event. And in our draw event, of course, go over to Control. Drag over your execute code. Mess up a little bit. All right, and the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is put in a uh, draw self so that it draws the character. Um, and we're actually going to use a variable from in, from the same character. It's going to be the following variable. So it's going to check. To make sure the NPC is following, so if following equals true, then set your brackets, open them up. Then you want to actually check the distance of the player next, which uh, I was going to reset mine down to, uh, we'll set it down to two. So it'll check the distance to object of player. If it's higher than or equal to two, and I want it to execute the code in here. Which it's going to do, it's going to set the image speed to 1. And we close this off. Alright. And we're going to throw in an else statement right here. Sorry. Just base that. So basically, an else, if it's less than 2, it's going to default the image speed back to 0. And we simply just close that off. And of course, if you want to, you can always add in the check. I uh, added in this check. If uh, following's off, then default the image speed back to 0. And that's really about it. Uh, let's go and see what the distance uh, fix there. Alright, so he's pretty close now. But, yep, as he gets further, he's still. Oh, I know why it's doing that. the mask. The reason that he kept stopping just at the edge, well, just uh, before the two as it was supposed to be set up is because of the mask. I actually had it set up as a rectangle instead of a precise or I guess I could do a loop sorry, whichever one. But I'll do that again real quick.
Come on now. There we go. And that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully this helped a little bit. Uh, next one, I think we're going to go ahead and go over a little bit of a fake 3D for our top-down environment. Um, enjoy!